Eight? Is it eight? I'm not sure. Seven, eight, or nine. It's one of the one of the three. Back to drying corn. Sounds like we're also gonna be able to combine some corn. I'd really like to get that wet bin full today. Uh, but we'll see how that works. In the meantime, I got a shipment of clamps for my air system from Sukup. We're gonna put those on. I only need three. We're gonna put this clean air pipe back into the gravity box. And currently we're warming up the dryer. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Oh man. She's cooking good today. So it's still the week of deer hunting here. I got the dryer going. Um, we're just gonna take a quick break and go up to our deer hunt shack and get some breakfast. Dad's feeding the fish with some old bread. We're gonna go get some breakfast at deer moldy, hunt shack. Moldy bread. No, it's not moldy. Not moldy, just it's it just turned older. a little bit bluer. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys ever wonder, like if you see me in a video and I got stuff all over my face? That's why. I just went up to grab the air filter. That's how dusty the back of the combine is. So then, uh, you know, I'm not paying attention and I go like that. I just got the air filter. Holy man. It's dusty. Get this bad boy warmed up. I'll just get on a high idle because it's kind of chilly this morning. Make sure all computers are fired up. Dad's on his way, but I thought this would be a good time to get my steps. I just wanted to remind you guys, just because I just had a truck that was a little bit impatient, I'm 20 feet wide on the road. I'm still legal to drive down the road like this as a farm equipment. Um, but if you see us on the road, just be patient. We're probably not going very far. The three or four minutes you might have to wait at the very most is probably worth a lot more than trying to pass me and going in the ditch or hitting another car head on. I just... Sometimes I'm in awe of what some people will do to get around the farm equipment. I personally move over as far as I can every single time. And really, I have the right of way to, to go on this side of the road. So I just, I don't know what to say other than just be patient. It's going to be all right. So it's not worth the maybe four or five seconds you're going to save by passing me and then getting all mad. So we're just trying to do our job, just like everybody else. By no way do I ever want to make somebody late for work or late to get home to see their family. I just want to get to my field eh, safely. So thanks for understanding. my first rows of the day. Let's go nice and slow and let all the belts warm up. We've got Russell in there for the first time combining. He's going to keep clipping away here. I'm going to take this home and get it unloaded. Keep that dryer going. Get that unloaded. That'll be the first load for today. Get past the dryer. That'll be the first load for today. I got Russell combining, which is really awesome. If anybody deserves to be in there, it's that guy. Um, and I gotta go see if I can get a tractor going. We're having trouble with one of our ginseng tractors, so let's go. I need my meter. It's an electrical problem, which is just wonderful. And uh, we'll go see if we can help those guys out. Having a little trouble with this radio in the truck. These power points aren't working. I checked the fuses, and that's not the problem, so we're gonna hook it right up 
to a different power source. Much better. Got it working. It's so much better when you can communicate with your combine guy back and forth onto who's or where we need to be, where I need to set the truck, how full he is, yada yada yada. Plus, I got a radio in the dryer shack, so anybody in there can talk with us. Just weird having one radio now, it really throws the guy off. Oh, take that off of Russell's paycheck. Ha ha. I just got another load unloaded and uh, Russell radio beam said we have a blocked air filter which I kind of it's not surprising I've been blowing that air filter out for the last few days so I got a whole new set of filters here we'll throw in and we can keep on moving okay we got them empty again trucks full new air filters Was it pretty dirty? Okay, let's head back and get this load. And then Russell said he wants to switch. He wants to go hunting, which is good. Got my passengers with me. Get my back tags on. And away we go. Easy peasy. Lunch is here. Okay, I'm just ready to head up to take over combining. Russell went hunting. I'm just gonna double check the corn. Put this at the right moisture. 15.2. That's perfect because it's a little warm yet and it's going to dry a little bit in the bin. So, I'm very happy with that. All right, back in the combine I go. Looks like he's got the combine in the cart full, so I'll just fill up that truck. All right, so we're just getting going here again. To warm the machine up a little bit, you know, just before you just give her. Looks like Russell got a whole bunch done here. So my air filter is blocked, or at least it says we're gonna go back and check it out. There's a tube I want to take apart. I think they call it like a respirator or aspirator tube uh, that hooks to the exhaust and see if that's plugged because that'll cause that. But uh, we're gonna shut down for a second, get that fixed because you really don't want to mess with that. All right, I think I found the problem. All that chaff, there's a fan below that box that's supposed to suck all that out. That's where my air filter gets all its air. That was plugged tight. That would do it. I wonder if the seal up there is just bad. I'll have to replace that seal because all that chaff and stuff is getting in there. So that shouldn't happen. We shouldn't be plugging an air filter like that. All right, so I got the air filter blown out. I cleaned out that uh, fan cleaning system. I am gonna have to look at that over winter and see what needs to be replaced there as far as seals. There was too much chaff getting in there. So that was, that's definitely our, our issue, um, which is fine. Uh, we'll make it, we'll make it to the end of the season here and uh, give it a good look over this winter. But for now, so far so good. Well, I gave Russell a hard time for dropping some, but I know I got that thing full. That's holding 875 plus bushel, I guarantee it. And, let's see if I can get this. Maybe even 876, but that didn't all make her in there. Oh well. All right, it's that time of night. Light her up. I put LEDs on this combine. I like LED bulbs in every single bulb that could have one, or like a complete replacement LED, you know, fixture. And uh, boy, has that been a nice upgrade. Really. Dumping. Next failed.
I just got done ripping off the headlands of a new field. Uh, my wife brought me dinner and I switched to the different bin. All right, we unloaded from the bin the other day, if you remember that, and then I uh, filled the bin we were working on, went back to the other one. That sounds really confusing, I'm sorry. But, so that one's kind of empty, but we'll be able to go for a little while. Little while. I think the wet bin's gonna be pretty full. So we're gonna check that when we get back though. But that's pretty much it for tonight, so. Good night. You'll see you tomorrow for day nine. Day nine. I can't believe it. And so where are, I should say where we are. Where are we at harvest progress, right? I don't know. I think we're like 60% of the way done. Maybe between 50 and 60% done. That's the progress.